In health news tonight, managing menopause and your heart health. According to the U.S. Census Bureau, more than 64 million women in America are going through menopause or are postmenopausal. But there's confusion over who can safely benefit from treatment. Now new guidelines may help. In past years, easing menopause symptoms often included hormone therapy, but that changed after cardiovascular risks were reported. Now, a new review by the American College of Cardiology finds hormone therapy can still be used, but with specific guidance. The people that are safe for hormone therapy are women who just started having um, postmenopause or perimenopause who have very little cardiovascular risk, and that risk is assessed by various risk scores that are out there. Cleveland Clinic cardiologist Dr. Leslie Cho led the review, which looked at 20 years worth of data to develop the new guidance. So women who have very low risk for having heart disease in the next 10 years, they're safe to use hormone replacement therapy. The research is published in the American Heart Association's journal called Circulation. Dr. Cho says many women suffer in silence with menopause symptoms, and they shouldn't have to. She hopes the changes in guidance for hormone therapy can help women and their physicians better determine if treatment is a safe option. It's important if you're going to start hormone therapy to talk to your doctor. It's important to go through your risk. And for women with heart disease, it's really critical to have a frank discussion with your physician about the risks and benefits of starting hormone therapy. Here's the bottom line. The decision of whether or not to use hormone therapy should be based on your individual risk factors, your family history, and the severity of the menopause symptoms. If hormone therapy is not recommended, ask your doctor, though, about alternate ways to manage those symptoms.